Hello guys, what's up, what's up? How are you? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I collect grasses, foliage, flowers in the wild, everywhere to use them as ornaments or just to create something to display their beauty so whenever I'm walking I always make sure that I would find something everywhere something that I can show off their beauty in my creation so this is how I collect my grasses to take them home and dry them. So this was the Polaris uh, Minor. That's why I think it's called Polaris Minor because it's short and it's small. And these are the ones that are the Polaris. I don't know, but it's also Polaris. And look what I found. I wish I found more, but there were only two of them. This is the one I've been, I've been looking for. There were only two, but it's a few. very important though guys that before you dry your collected grasses make sure that they are mature fully developed and stable one of the simplest and oldest methods of drying grasses is you know to hang them upside down um, first we have to tie them in small bunches like this then we hang them upside down this method can be used for most species of non-woody grasses so that they will remain upright after drying any leaves that will not be satisfactorily preserved during the drying process should be stripped away you should remove it 
and it should be a well ventilated uh, place and most preferably if it's a bit dark so the color will be preserved and also they dry faster On my next video guys, please don't miss to watch it because I am going to show you some of my uh, moments of coloring them to prepare them so I can make a bouquet for the spring season. So they're ready for coloring in a week. I still need seven days for them to be completely dried so stay tuned to my channel please don't miss my next video yes the dryness and spacing prevents mild and mild deformation that's very important so I have those eucalyptus leaves and leaves too can create a very attractive arrangement you will see on my next video when I color them it's so beautiful they would really look different I am so excited to see them being put together into one flower arrangement or one bouquet stay tuned guys if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell and please please leave a comment I would really appreciate if you have question or you have suggestion Thank you so much for watching have a very nice day please watch my next video on how i added colors to my dried grasses flowers and foliage i cannot wait i'm so excited see you in my next video guys have a very lovely day everyone